He is known for being an English soldier and naturalist who made significant contributions to the field of natural history during his time in India. He is recognized for collecting and documenting numerous specimens, which led to the discovery and description of many new species. His name is Thomas Hardwick. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Major General Thomas Hardwick, an English soldier and naturalist whose impact on the world of zoology is immeasurable. From 1777 to 1823, Hardwick found himself in the vibrant land of India, where he embarked on a remarkable journey of exploration and discovery. As he traversed the Indian subcontinent, he collected a plethora of specimens from the rich and diverse natural world, capturing their beauty through the skilled hands of Indian artists. Hardwick's dedication to documenting the wonders of Indian wildlife led to the description of numerous new species. These remarkable findings were immortalized by naming several of the species after him, a testament to his invaluable contributions. But Hardwick's quest for knowledge did not end there. Upon his return to England, he collaborated with the renowned zoologist John Edward Gray to publish Illustrations of Indian Zoology, a groundbreaking work that shed light on the fascinating creatures that inhabit the Indian landscape. The impact of Hardwick's work in the field of zoology cannot be overstated. By meticulously documenting and describing new species, he expanded our understanding of the natural world and the incredible diversity it holds. His collaboration with Gray brought these discoveries to a wider audience, inspiring generations of scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Major General Thomas Hardwick's life is a testament to the power of exploration and the profound impact one individual can have on the advancement of scientific knowledge. In his early years, Thomas Hardwick embarked on a military career, joining the British East India Company Army as a lieutenant fireworker. From 1781 to 1785, he served in southern India under the command of Colonel Pierce and Sir Eyre Coote, participating in campaigns against Tipu Sultan and engaging in battles like the relief of Valor and the siege of Kudlor. Hardwick's dedication and bravery earned him the rank of Major General in 1819, before eventually resigning from the Bengal artillery in 1823 and returning to England. During his time in India, Hardwick's travels ignited a passion for the country's diverse wildlife. He began collecting zoological specimens and commissioning local artists to create paintings of animals. These paintings, some of which were made from life and others from deceased specimens, formed an impressive collection. Hardwick's daughter, Elizabeth, also contributed to the artwork. By the time he left India, he had amassed the largest collection of Indian animal drawings ever assembled by an individual. Hardwick's dedication to Indian natural history extended beyond his personal collection. He corresponded with leading naturalists in England, including Sir Joseph Banks, President of the Royal Society. In fact, Hardwick himself became a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1813. His collection of illustrations was utilized by renowned zoologists such as J. E. Gray. With Hardwick's financial support, the two-volume work Illustrations of Indian Zoology was published, featuring 202 large hand-colored plates. Unfortunately, Hardwick passed away before the accompanying text could be completed. In recognition of his contributions as an ornithologist, naturalist, and zoologist, several species have been named in honor of Hardwick's work. The genus of a tree known for its hard wood, Hardwickia benatha, was named after him by William Roxburgh. Hardwick's legacy lives on through his extensive collection, which was bequeathed to the British Museum in 1835 and later partially relocated to the Natural History Museum. This remarkable collection consists of 4,500 illustrations, showcasing the rich biodiversity of India. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.